Hey guys, uh, Circumspect here again, and today I'm going to be talking about the solar turbine, which is the source of power for factorization. Show you how to make it and set it up. So first of all, go over here to our table, and first thing we're going to need to make is a battery for a motor. So that starts out with sulfuric acid. Well, I'll show you the uh, plan, battery plan first. Take some sulfuric acid and some lead ingots, some iron ingots. So I'll make the sulfuric acid real quick. And these are just uh, plans, if you're not familiar with them. Might go over those in another tutorial. So then we'll use the, we'll make the battery block. Now that we've made the sulfuric acid, like I said, some lead ingots, some iron ingots, and the sulfuric acid. Take one of those. Now, we'll make some insulated coil. And this is to make your motor. And looks like we need four insulated coil. A magnet. Which, I don't know why it shows this helmet icon here. It's kind of weird. But uh, this should be a battery. There. So, yeah, it's kind of odd. But anyways, make a magnet. And finally, our motor. Uh, right, so this just takes the magnet here, the uh, insulated coil, some lead ingots, and iron ingots. Gives us a motor. Now, we're going to take our motor over here and make our uh, solar turbine which I'll show you the recipe for that, the motor, a fan, and some glass blocks. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll take, and the first thing we need to make up is a fan, and I'll show you how to make those real quick. Uh, grab some iron. And this is a fan right here. So that's how you make a fan. Just iron ingots. And you'll place them like so with your motor here solar turbine now the whole idea behind this solar turbine is that it um, uses an infinite water source and it evaporates the water via reflective mirrors and the sun and uh, the steam rises and it turns the fan and creates power so how you do this is you take you make an infinite water source I've, I've set out a um, 11, 11 by 11 square here with this water trough in the middle. So you'll want to make an infinite water source. You'll need two buckets of water. And you'll see that makes the infinite water source. Then you're going to want to place your solar turbine right here like so. And you'll see it fill up a little bit. So then you can break this block. And you'll want to do that because... Um, if you if you notice, I've got this on a raised plane by one block, and that's because there will be mirrors out here, like so, um, and you'll see that they act, are activated and turn towards the uh, solar turbine. And anything that's in between the path of the mirror and the solar turbine will decrease its efficiency. So let me go ahead and show you how to make a couple of these mirrors real quick. Really simple. All it takes is. Uh, some silver ingots here, eight silver ingots, and a glass pane gives you reflective mirrors. And um, <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to take your solar turbine, set it here, run some lead wire to it. Hmm, that's interesting. That is interesting indeed. I don't know why that isn't connecting up. Ah, uh, I don't know why. Let's see here. There we go. All right. So you connect your lead wire up, and you'll want to, like I said, don't don't leave anything in the pathway of the mirrors if possible, because every block that's blocked will um, will have an issue. So you'll run your lead wire out to your power um, blocks, which will be your battery blocks. And these just serve as um, sort of like MFEs, um, 
if you're used to industrial craft or battery boxes, whatever it is you, that you use. And so the solar turbine will um, make power and send it through these battery blocks. It will charge these battery blocks. And then from there on, you will use more lead wire to connect it up to your other factorization items. So um, the wiki says that blo blocks, excuse me, the mirrors can be placed as far as eight blocks in a straight line away along the X or Z axis, but they must be within five blocks uh, on the diagonal. Um, to be honest, I haven't really found that to be true. Uh, seems like they're a little more effective even farther out than that. But uh, the whole idea behind these mirrors is you want to get as many of them as possible within this area. And like I said, an 11 by 11 seems to be um, a pretty reasonable setup. It uh, produces nearly optimally from what I can tell. And um, you shouldn't have any problems with power. Factorization doesn't seem to be too power uh, hungry. So you'll see the fan working there. It's charging up the batteries as you can see the levels on the side here. And these battery blocks, um, they conduct in line. So you can put batteries, um, you know, you can stack them at, as, you know, fairly high. I don't know if there's a limit to how high you can stack the batteries, but you can put them on top of each other, and uh, they'll charge as well. So they're very flexible in how you can use them. All right, guys. Well, that's enough for this right here. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope that was useful to you. This is just how to get started with your factorization stuff.